Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going, uh, going to show you how to fix that type of error if you got and this is a simple uh, exception you have to got like that invalid object name room facilities and invalid object name if you got that type of error invalid object name like microsoft.data.sql client.sql sql exception and you got invalid object name what is the object actually uh, object is actually uh, you can say that is your uh, tables and your that uh, you can say that it is an entity so again you have to check uh, what is the uh, what is the object actually object is a entity that is stored by your uh, application DB context class in the database table in the form of the database table so you can see that invalid object name that is um, that is uh, uh, I facility service that is not use uh, room facilities and what is the room facilities actually room facilities is existing in your application DB context file so everything is there but uh, that is the mistake uh, between the your model first approach and the uh, in the code in in your database so that room facilities is actually not exist in your physical database so first of all add migration if you have some tables uh, in your application DB context class in your if you have a DB set in uh, in your application DB context class but uh, that uh, variable is not uh, take a physical uh, existence in your database table so first of all add migration so that that uh, entities will uh, will move to the physical table in database in database so just you can use migration after migration your problem will be resolved and it's not only a migration use update a database command after updating the database command your problem will be resolved easily so don't forget about my channel please subscribe my channel if you like this video and please share this video if you like asp.net core and uh, if you want to learn more about asp.net core rest api and big bug fixing then please subscribe my channel don't forget so your problem will be resolved easily you can check on your internet and here we go so just run your project and you will see that your problem will resolve easily so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all others